Hi everyone and welcome to our next segment of Moments with Mumila. The purpose of these segments is to help create conversation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples outside of this seg these segments and also to promote the experiences and perspectives of all different kinds of Indigenous peoples across Canada. Our next guest here today with us, her name is Maya. Hi Maya, I'm so excited to have you here and can you just introduce yourself to us? Us, please. Hi, my name is Maya. I'm nine and a half years old and I'm from Kirigan Zibi. I'm so excited to have you with us here today, Maya. So uh, I mentioned I talk to all different kinds of people from all different parts of Canada. What kinds of things, or sorry, you, you had mentioned that you're from Southern Canada and what is the project that we're going to talk a little bit about today? Um, about Cook'em Scrunchies. And can you tell us a little bit about Cook'em Scrunchies? What is that? Um, Cook'em Scrunchies is um, scrunchies that we make out of Cook'em material. Um, and then uh, Cook'em material. That's okay. cook'em material. Can you tell people what cook'em is for people that don't know what cook'em is? Cook'em in our languages means grandmother. Um, yeah. Um, and what did the grandmas used to do? The grandmas used to wear, wear the cook'em scarves on top of their heads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I actually have, I so I ordered two sets of scrunchies. So right now you have scrunchies. What else do you have? Uh, we have um, masks. And scarves. And scarves. And scarves, that's awesome. So I actually, the funny part about that is I have one set of Kokum scrunchies in Nunavut and one set in Ottawa. So I don't have any scrunchies with me right now, but I did order a bunch of, of course, um, orange Kokum scrunchies masks, which are so great and soft and wonderful. And I, I love wearing them. And I love all the bright colors. I love all the flowers. Mm -hmm. Are there any other kinds of, uh, patterns that you like to use? Um, we use like um, patterns like flowers. flowers. Different kinds of flowers. Yeah, different kinds of material with flowers. Mm -hmm. And these are limited edition. Limited edition? What What's on them? I can't, are they flowers or raspberries or? Um, they're flowers. Ooh, limited edition red roses. Those are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to start Cook'em Scrunchies? What made you want to do it? Um, so at a powwow, it's where um, I ran um, all the Native people gather around and there's something called specials. Um, you could call it dance competitions, and um, they would be everything for like the teenagers and then up, um, and nothing for like the kids. So I really wanted to um, like host a special for the kids, and then we had to sell something. Um, nice. fundraise. fundraise, um, and so I'm like, I like scrunchies, and I like, and then there's like cooking material, and then put that together, we made a cooking scrunchies. <laughs> awesome, I love it, I love it, and I think you guys have been um, making deliveries everywhere across the country lately. Um, where can people see Cook'em's Crunchies? What kinds of ways can they see? What kinds of things you sell? Um, they could see at my website called cookumscrunchies.ca and Instagram. Um, 
Yeah. That's where I found you. I found you on Instagram. I can't remember how, but I remember seeing it and I was like, I need, I love cooking material. So I was like, I need to have some of these and it's mm -hmm. super exciting. When did you start cooking scrunchies? Um, August the 20th? October. October. 2019. 2019. Mm -hmm. October 2019. Mm -hmm. but wow. It was, but it wasn't a business. It wasn't a business yet? But yeah, it was just a fundraiser. Already almost a year later and you have wonderful cookum scrunchies and masks and scarves all across the country. It's so mm -hmm. exciting. I turned, I turned it into a business in March 2020. In March? What kinds of things did you have to do to make it a business? Um, we, we, uh, we looked at Shopify to um, have a business a website. Uh, website. Mm. Um, yeah <laughs> that's awesome so you had to make a website and then had to do some advertising and mm -hmm. are there any kinds of things that you want to try in the future with cookum scrunchies any new things you want to have out um i want to make um some um clothing Ooh. That's exciting. I love clothing. I am such a sucker for designing and custom stuff and especially from indigenous youth. So Yeah. So awesome. Oh, uh, and I want to make uh, we're starting to make lanyards. Um yeah. Like beaded lanyards or out of cookum's uh material. Out of cookum material landlords. Oh, I love it. That's so exciting. Yeah. I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. So besides cookum scrunchies and school, what other things do you like to do? Um, I like to do some arts and crafts. What kind of art? Um, like painting. Um, coloring. Mm -hmm. um yeah what are some of your favorite things to paint um some of my favorite things to paint is like um flowers um and sometimes i just like go for it oh i love it just go for it yeah. Sometimes we just need to start painting and sometimes we don't even know what we're doing with it, but that's okay. Mhm. Mm are there is there are there other things that you like to do? Um hockey? Yes, I love hockey. I played hockey for 11 years. Oh my god. I started when I was your age. I started when I was nine. That's why my favorite number is nine because I was nine when I started playing. Oh, uh, I was four when I started. Oh, I'm so jealous. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What position do you play? Um, defense. Defense. Yeah, if that was me too. That's what I did. I needed to protect my goalie. Yeah. <laughs> that was my job for sure. What's your favorite part about hockey? um that uh like uh, saving the goals mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep actually helping out your goaltender mm -hmm. so fun do you have a favorite team um the senators senators nice mm -hmm. nice what about a favorite player um, Pajo. <laughs> My favorite player growing up was Haley Wickenheiser. She was really awesome. She used to play with the guys, and that's why I really liked her. I didn't like it when people tell me I couldn't do the same thing as the boys could. I was very mm -hmm. stubborn. <laughs> yeah. And 
Yeah, so you play hockey too and, and do art and cook them scrunchies. So you sound like a very, very, very busy person. Oh, and I love baking. And baking. Wow, so many things. What kinds of things do you like to bake? Um, I like to bake all kinds of things like cakes, um, cookies, and cupcakes, and muffins. Oh, I love it. I was watching actually, have you ever seen the what's it called now the great canadian baking show um no no i i was watching that recently and they were baking all different kinds of things and it's it looks like so much so much fun what's your favorite dessert to eat though macaroons macaroons oh good choice i love macaroons too and i'm i'm not a big dessert person but macaroons are delicious mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Maya. I'm super excited to continue to see what you have put out with Cook'em Scrunchies, and you'll be seeing some more orders from me in the future for sure. Is there anything else you wanted to say or talk about before we go? Um, no. Thank you for your support. Yes. No problem. Thank you so much, Maya and, and mom in the background. And mm -hmm. we'll be in touch and, and we'll, we'll talk again at some point. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Maya. Thank you. Bye.